Need some coins for that God Squad you've always wanted? For fast and the cheapest coins anywhere, make sure you guys check out MMOEXP.com and use code ZERK for 5% off your order. Link is in the description. The whole thing wobbing. What's going on guys? It's Zark Supernatural today with another Madden Ultimate Team video and today I'm going to be going over the playoff champions that weren't revealed earlier today. They took forever to go ahead and reveal them so yeah I'm just combining it here with the midnight video that I originally planned to do with the team of the year voting as well. So we're going to go over these cards quickly. Now, I do want to give a shout out to Mr. Cobra for being a part of the Nodi Gang. If you guys have a chance to shout out the next video drop a like in the vid make sure you guys are so up channel to notification on and comment down below noti gang and also if you guys have not already checked out underdog fantasy you can use code zerk to match first posit up to 100 you can check out the nfl slates that there are for this weekend on saturday and sunday and also the over under one yard yes one yard special with stefan Diggs. so it's pretty much like a guaranteed hit right there you just pair that one other thing that you like and you can win three times your entry or if you want to go like big and do like five players you really only have to get four right because the digs over should be easy money as long as something crazy doesn't happen there so you can do that when 20 times your entry code zerk match your first deposit up 200 dollars. you can use that special this week or wait for the special next week the week after that but you can only use one special leading up to the super bowl so if you want to hop on and use this one Definitely not a bad idea. I like a lot of the picks that you can make. But let's get into this. You guys can see we have Troy Palomalu right here. So he is one of the champions coming out tomorrow. He's got 94 speed, 94 acceleration, 89 tackling, 95 play rank, 95 pursuit, 90 man coverage, 94 zone, and 96 hit power. So is the card usable? Absolutely, he is going to be usable. Now, the only thing that I don't like about Troy is he's not a very big safety right he's five foot ten and there are a lot of other strong safeties currently in the game that are a lot bigger including isaiah simmons i also like ken houston who's six foot three you know 93 speed whereas troy Fumalo is 94 speed but isaiah simmons is faster ted Hendricks has 93 speed and he's six foot seven at strong safety so to be honest with you guys, I don't think that I'm maybe going to be picking up this card. And honestly, the only reason I would pick him up would be to put him at free safety. But then at free safety, we have Brian Dawkins and we have Sean Taylor. So yeah, Troy P, cool for Steelers team teams. I'm not really interested. And as for the second playoff champion, guys, that is going to be Travis Kelsey. So again, I just... I don't get it, man. This playoff from a part one is just not good. It's just straight up not good. Troy Polamalu, that card is decent but as i said i just feel like there's way better safety options you could go with and with kelsey i don't understand it we already have better tight ends and he's got 89 speed 80 strength 94 catch 93 catch in traffic 93 spec catch 96 short 94 medium and 78 run blocking but keep in mind he just got a team of the week plus one like just got a team of the week plus one on tuesday so on that power up if you power up that travis kelsey all the way guys he gets 89 speed so the same speed on the power up as this card right here and then you would of course power him up and get plus one there but he's literally got the same exact speed so i just I, I really don't understand really part one of the playoff promo this is one of the fattest l's to uh any promo i think i've ever seen all right guys and now we have the team of the year voting now i will let you guys know okay i'm gonna go through and tell you what players i am picking and why i'm picking those players however you do not have to copy me, okay? Feel free to do whoever you want to. I am not making this video to entice you to go one way or another. I'm just showing you which ones I am personally going with and why I'm going with them. And I will also leave a link to this in the comment section so you guys can go ahead and do this. It actually is working for a couple of days. I believe this will be working. I want to say it works until like the 17th or something like that. So let's go ahead and get into this. So starting off at quarterback, guys, we have Herbert, Lamar, Derek Carr, and Mac Jones. Now I'm going to go with Derek Carr and the reason i'm gonna go with Derek carr mac jones is the least mobile and has the worst release he actually has the same release as justin herbert uh the only difference is herbert is pretty much a slightly better mac jones just still the worst release of the options of these quarterbacks lamar jackson is very speedy he also has the second quickest release of the quarterback options Derek Carr being number one and with Lamar if you choose him he's gonna get gunslinger so I know a lot of people are gonna want to go with Lamar and get gunslinger escape artist however I'm gonna go with Derek Carr because 
We already have, you know, Henry in the game. We have quarterback Henry in the game. I feel like you could use him if you want a scrambling quarterback. If you go with Lamar, I, I could totally see Lamar Jackson winning this. Without a doubt, I could 100% see Lamar uh, winning this, and I think that he will. But I am going to go with Carr because he does uh, get Gunslinger and he should get Howard Master as well. You should be able to get both of them. I'm assuming that these players are probably going to be like 96s. And he's got the fastest release out of all the options. So I am going to go with Derek Carr here. So I guess what we do, we just select him. We, do we slide him on? How exactly does this work? All right, so the way that it works, you have to drag him, I guess, right there into the quarterback spot. So now moving on to the running back. There's actually a good amount of uh, running backs. You guys can see we have Joe Mixon, Dalvin, Cordero, Alvin Kamara, and Nick Chubb. And with running back, I really feel like uh, Nick Chubb is pretty solid, to be honest. Like, he could be pretty good. I feel like, in my opinion, you should go between, and again, this is just my opinion, who I have kind of decided between here. I was really between Dalvin and Cordero, and I feel like Dalvin deserves an upgrade. He doesn't have a single upgrade in the game. But out of all these running backs... I feel like Patterson will be the best. He's a huge running back, and on top of him being a huge running back, he also is very, very, very fast and good at catching. So I'm going to go with Cordell Patterson. I think that card is going to be seriously the best running back in the game when he comes out. At wide receiver, Lockett, Waddle, or Justin Jefferson. I am going to go with Justin Jefferson. And then at wide receiver two, we have Chris Godwin, Deontay, and Debo. I am going to go with Debo Samuel. Debo, of course, great after the catch and he's gonna be just great after catch really he's gonna be pretty fast and amazing after catch so i'm definitely gonna go with him at tight end we have waller mark andrews and dawson knox i don't see how waller doesn't win this i mean honestly i don't see how darren waller is not gonna win that so i'm gonna go with waller there obviously has the speed so i want that uh left tackle i mean this is just personal preference i don't really think this one matters that much i'm gonna go with whitworth whatever you know he's the old guy let's give him an upgrade left guard Marpet, Norwell, Roger Saffold. Again, I don't really care much about the O lineman unless the player I, I want to go with. Frank Ragno, Alex Mack, Jason Kelsey. I'm a Cowboys fan, but you know what? We'll go with Jason Kelsey. Right guard, come on. You know where I'm going. We're going Zach Martin. And at right tackle, we have Brian Bulaga, Ryan Ramchek, Trent Brown. I'm going to go with Ryan Ramchek. All right, so that right there was offense. You can see I went with Derek Carr, Cordero, Justin Jefferson, Andrew Whitworth, Ali Marfit, Jason Kelsey, Zach Martin, my Ramchek, Debo, and Darren Waller. Pretty good. Now on to the defense. So at middle linebackers, okay, we have Roquan Smith, Kazir White, Denzel Perriman, Foya Seda Luakon. Well, who would be the best one? Here? Let me take a look at Kazir White's stats. All right, so at middle linebacker here, honestly... I think I'm just going to go with people that probably deserve it. So I'm going to go with Roquan. You know, he usually has a pretty good speed right there. Left outside linebacker. Oh, this is interesting. Jalen Phillips is going to have speed. Joey Bosa also going to be really fast. I feel like Matt Judon. Judon might end up winning this. And I think with this, do I want to go with the player that deserves it? Or do I want to go with the player that's going to be the best mutt card? Because I feel like best mutt card is probably Jalen Phillips. Judon has a higher overall card. I'm going to go with Jalen Phillips. You know what? Let's get the speed. Joey Bosa, also pretty solid pick. Right outside linebacker, we have Robert Quinn, Jordan Brooks, Preston Smith, and Chubb. I'm going to go with Robert Quinn. Former Cowboy. Also, I mean, he's he's just been beasting out there. Now, right in, Miles Garrett, Cameron Hayward, Yannick Ngakwe, and Trey Hendrickson. I'm going to go with Miles Garrett. Left end, or actually DT, we have Buckner, Chris Jones, Quinn and Williams, Javon Hargrave. I'm going to go with Chris Jones there. Uh, at left defensive end, we have Ogba, Jeffrey Simmons, Jonathan Greenard, Daniel Hunter. Ah, man. If I'm going with best mud card, I'm going with Hunter. Simmons probably deserves it, to be honest. Like, he had a really, really good year. I'm going to go with Hunter. Get the speed there. Maybe that card would be crazy good. Safety, I'm going to go with Javon Holland. He is, uh, I think it would be a really, really good card. Free safety, Jeremy Chin. He's six foot three. That card's going to be nasty. Corner, guys. I know I said I'm not going to try to, you know, persuade you to do anything. Please do Trayvon Diggs. I want Trayvon Diggs team of the year so bad. That is the one player that I'm going to request you guys go with. And then for cornerback two, Sertain, Xavier Rhodes, and Amani. I got to go with Sertain. That card would be crazy. Now on to fullback, we have specialists. So Kyle Juszczyk and CJ Ham. I'm going to go with Kyle. I don't know. CJ Ham card is actually usually pretty good. So I'm going to go with CJ Ham. Uh, punter. I don't, I don't really care. We'll just go with him. We're actually kicker, I mean. Punter, now we have AJ Cole, Michael Dixon. I'm going to go with AJ Cole, whatever. Uh, slot corner. 
So you can go with any corner you want to here. Okay, well, I already did Diggs. So I'm going to go with Denzel. We'll go with Denzel Ward right there. Uh, third down halfback. There's no... Wow. I am disappointed. I'm really disappointed. I thought for sure that with third down back, we get Tony Pollard. So we have Giovanni Bernard, Kenyon Drake, and JD McKissick. I mean probably McKissick, I think, would be the best card. Slot wide receiver. So I'm going to go here with Jalen Waddle, since I've already done uh, Justin Jefferson and also Debo. Rush defender. Um, Let's go with Aziz, I suppose, for the Giants fans out there. There he is, Tony Pollard. Yes, Tony Pollard. Returner, thank you very much. That is what I'm going to go with. So, guys, that is my specialist. Uh, here is my defense and also my offensive picks. You guys can let me know down below what you're going with. But, as I said, if you're going to do one thing and you want to do it for me, Trayvon Diggs, cornerback, and if you want to add in Tony Pollard, I would so much appreciate that. So, with that being said, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, make sure you guys drop a like video and, of course, hit that sub button down below. I'll see you guys next time.